The experimental testosterone drug Androxyl helped gay Cubans have more sex, states the CEO of Repros. In a clinical trial with gay Cubans as the test subjects, they entered it with low testosterone levels. But after taking Androxyl, their testosterone levels rose, leading to lots of sex, says Podolsky. He claims that the increased sex led to low sperm counts and not Androxyl. Podolsky also revealed that a nurse at one of the Androxyl clinical trial sites fabricated baseline sperm counts for patients. When Repros discovered the data fraud, the data was recalculated and the results were closer to what was expected. Androxyl is a new treatment method developed by Repros for men with low testosterone, or low T. It is an alternative to injections, gels, and creams, being a variant of Clomid, Clomiphene, a non-steroidal fertility medicine mainly used to stimulate ovulation in women. It is being touted as a more convenient method than gels or creams due to their risk of transferring to women and children and their tendency to cause sperm counts to plummet. Many men do not want this as they want to have children. The results regarding the gay Cubans were from Repros's phase three study of Androxyl where they had to meet two primary endpoints. They claim that they met both endpoints with statistical significance. According to the study results, 79% of the androxyl-treated men had 24-hour testosterone levels that were in the normal range after 12 weeks, which is a success. In another analysis, 83% of men treated with androxyl had an average 24-hour testosterone level of 425 nanograms per deciliter. That is still within the normal range, 300 to 1,040 nanograms per deciliter, but still not much of an increase. In terms of sperm counts, 15 men with androxyl had sperm counts below the 50% baseline compared to one man treated with the placebo. However, some of the inconsistencies were explained by the CEO as the gay Cubans having too much sex. Is this possible? Joe Podolsky says yes. Whether or not the low sperm counts are due to too much sex is still up in the air. Either way, more testing needs to be done to properly evaluate the efficacy of androxyl. If it does perform as well as Repro says it does, it would be a great alternative to injections, creams, or gels. If you are interested in learning more about testosterone replacement therapy, including the other met methods I mentioned here, or think you may be suffering from low testosterone, do not hesitate to contact us. Just go ahead and click the link below in the description of this video.